Well, you know, we only see these cyclists when they're out there on the road course battling it out, right? Yeah. But there's a whole lot more that goes into these teams. There really is, and of course, part of that is uh, kind of living together and being mm -hmm. together on the team bus. Our Jordan Kramer has a behind the scenes look. Hey guys, I'm with my buddy Trey here. We're outside the Hoggins Berman action truck. We're going to take a look inside and kind of see what a cycling truck entails, all, sure. all the details. So mm -hmm. I'm going to follow you. All right. You lead the way. Step right up. <clears throat> so this is our 36 foot cargo trailer. Okay. Uh, that myself and another gentleman built out completely from scratch. You built um, this? We, we, we had an empty box and we built out all the wheel racks, all the bike racks, all the wood. We put in a washer and dryer for the Swan years. Uh, we have a water filter. Uh, we have storage for a little over 30 bikes and uh, about 80 wheels. Okay, yeah. and this comes with you kind of everywhere you everywhere, go? Everywhere we're doing the U.S. and Canada. This is our, uh, we have a, a similar setup, not quite this size in Europe for the races over there, but everything we do stateside, this is, this is what we use. Now, is there a basic mold for these trucks that kind of you know, or, or do you do it based upon your needs? We did it based on our needs. We ordered, we ordered the trailer custom. Uh, with some extra height so that we could uh, make use of, of more of the space mm -hmm. um, in order to be able to hold all the equipment that we need for these races. How many miles has been on this trailer? This trailer, probably about 40,000 miles. I in how guess. long of a time? About two and a half years. Whew. Yeah. Uh, two, about two years. Yeah. I, I think I put like yeah. 10 on my car in two <laughs> years' time. What's that contraption back there? <clears throat> Which one are you? The blue one? So this is a, this is a truing stand. This is, we put wheels in there to uh, to straighten them if they get out of alignment. Um, but yeah, we built the workbench. We built the uh, place to hold hoses, work stands, toolbox. Uh, yeah, and all the bike and wheel racks. Who's got to drive this thing? I do. Oh, how's that working yeah. out for you? I like it. Yeah. 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 I get to see a lot of this country from through a windshield. I drove a Penske truck once and it gave me anxiety and I drove it for about two <laughs> miles, so I don't think I could drive this truck. This, uh, yeah, it, it, knowing, knowing what you're getting into is the most important part. So I, I, I thank Google Maps for, like, like I look at every, every truck stop, every mm -hmm. hotel, every race start. I go, okay, where am I, where am I getting into? So I have to make sure I can get back out. All right, so. well, Trey, thank you so yeah, much. You're very welcome. All right, bye guys, see you later. <laughs> All right, not exactly the, the team bus there. That was more like the team trailer. Sure. Obviously the life of what they do because I bet they spend a lot of time in there working on their bikes oh. and keeping everything up tuned up. We saw they've got everything that needs to be replaced on a bicycle. It's like a bicycle shop on wheels, yeah, if you will, on really. something like that. Like how Jordan was mentioning driving the Penske truck. I could see how that'd be nerve-wracking <laughs> as well. Hey, you know